Sorry guys. I've been running all night. I will find you and I will run all night. Okay, yeah, that was not a very good way to start, but hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. I am here to review Run All Night. Run All Night is from the same director that gave you Unknown, Orphan, and Nonstop. And the film itself does star Liam Neeson, Joel Kenneman, Genesis Rodriguez, Ed Harris, and Common. The plot of the movie is about this mobster and hitman named Jimmy Conlon. His very good friend, who is also a mob boss, Sean, played by Ed Harris, he kills his son. So, guess what? Sean now wants to not just kill Liam Neeson, but he wants to kill his son, his family. He actually wants to kill his son first, so Liam Neeson can feel what it's like to lose a son. They become from being best friends to... I guess frenemies because they care for each other, but they're out for each other. Uh, I don't know. So going into Run All Night, I'm not going to lie. I actually was looking forward to this movie. The trailer really sold me. I did want to watch this movie because it was from the same director of Nonstop. Nonstop is really the only movie I like from this director. Unknown was okay. So with Run All Night, all I wanted was a very fun, awesome action flick, and it's fun. I'll say that, but the movie itself, it's kind of underwhelming. But you know what? I'm not going to deny Run All Night at least entertains. But that's really all the movie is to me, at least. To start off with my positives, Liam Neeson and Ed Harris. They're both great together. They have very good chemistry, very interesting back and forth. Ed Harris was an interesting character, and the interesting thing about Liam Neeson is how he smokes, he does drugs, so he's in a very harsh life. That was cool to see Liam Neeson play that kind of character. And of course, with Liam Neeson, you're gonna expect some ass kicking from this dude, right? Well, yes you do. Liam Neeson, to no surprise, is still badass because he's always awesome in these action movies. The action scenes in the movie are definitely very well filmed. There's an action scene where Liam Neeson is in the car trying to save Joel Kenneman and then there's another action scene between Liam Neeson and Common where they're actually carrying wood on fire. They're fighting with wood on fire fire. Think about how intense and awesome that just sounds. And speaking of Common, he was really enjoyable here. It's just so cool to see Common become a badass and I thought he was one of the best parts right next to Ed Harris and Liam Neeson. The movie is very well shot. It is suspenseful at times. It is a very well directed movie and I do think the ending to Run All Night has a nice touch of heart to it. I did think how the movie ended was really nice. So the first problem that this movie suffered from was attempting at humor. Now the humor isn't anything too far-fetched, it's actually quick and very simple, but I was just sitting at my event screen for this movie going, um, okay. I maybe chuckled a couple of times, but overall the humor when the movie is there, it did not work at all. Joel Kenneman, who I recognize from the Robocop remake, the movie that I actually liked, he was average in this movie. He's just okay. His character just really wasn't all that interesting and just Joel Kenneman's acting here I thought it could have been a lot better in all honesty. Also the father-son dynamic of the movie I really didn't think was all that compelling. It didn't really create much of an impact for the movie. I appreciate the movie at attempting to create a father-son story. I think that's nice. And there's a few moments where I did buy into it, but for the most part, I just felt like there wasn't anything too special for it. Ed Harris and Liam Neeson, you know, Ed Harris wants to kill Liam Neeson, his son, and his family too, because Liam Neeson killed his son, Danny. But the thing is that Ed Harris cares so much about Liam Neeson. You see that they still both care about each other, and Ed Harris's character 
he really looks like he didn't want to do it. Like, he actually still cares for Liam Neeson. And there's even a few times where Liam Neeson says, Last chance, Sean. Last chance to let this all slide. Liam Neeson gave Ed Harris a chance. But Ed Harris, despite him still looking like he cared for Liam Neeson, he still goes for it. I just really did not get it. It has an okay storyline, but it does feel a little bumpy with the writing. The finale, I won't deny that it was suspenseful, it was gritty, and I was at the edge of my seat just a little bit. But at the same time, it was extremely damn predictable on how the finale was gonna go down. Run all night, I'm going to give it two and a half out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Run All Night. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.